I came to see the President at Sutang. Thank His Excellency for graciously making June 12th Democracy Day on account of MK Abiola, who is one of our proud sons of Ogun State. On behalf of the good people of Ogun State, thank His Excellency for pronouncing June 12th Democracy Day um, and recognizing that indeed um, MK Abiola um, is is a uniting um, factor in the history, political history of Nigeria. I thank him for naming uh, the stadium after him as well, which was unexpected. And Baba said that he didn't even share with anyone. It was something that he wanted to do. He wanted to underscore the fact that Abiola indeed was a great man. And having said that, I thought it was important for me to share my vision with the president. Our vision starts with um, factors that we call the enabler factors and um, those that we call the pillars. And tops on our enabler factor is a, a good governance factor. We feel that, we believe that nothing can be achieved unless you actually are committed to good governance. And I said to him that um, good governance starts with, I mean, simple, uh, ensuring that you simply pay salaries as a win due. Along the course of my campaign, I told the massive of the state that salaries will be paid as a win due. My second in the office, I realized the fact that it was the end of the month and salaries were due, and yet we didn't have enough to pay salaries. However, we ensured that that day, Every civil servant in Ogun State got alerts and were paid. There's something called the speed of trust. The citizens have to begin to trust you, and you have to, you have to under trust quickly. So when you're beginning to try to endear people to your state, those are the kind of things that they will look out for you. The second item on our enabler is security. Ogun State is called gateway for a reason. We're the gateway to Lagos, gateway to your gateway to so many other places. So it's important that for us to say we are creating an enabling environment for investment, we must have a secure state. So we are taking the issue of security very seriously. Myself and the governor of Lagos State, our standard, we have discussed. We are going to together, you know, uh, ensure that we have a robust security trust fund so we can have patrol vehicles along the connecting road. The foremost of of pillars is agriculture. And that I'm leveraging on what the president has successfully done nationwide. So we are, we are tapping into the CBN's, you know, agricultural scheme, which is the Anchor Boras program. And what we are planning to do in Ogun State is our farmers, our cooperatives, we've met with them. We are grouping them into, 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 into groups that we are going to allocate land to them, you know, about a hectare each. And we're starting with about 10,000 farmers. So we hope that in the next three years, we can multiply this to at least 250,000 farmers. If every state does this, food security will be guaranteed. Then I also shared with him my education vision. We are going to digitally transform Ogun State because we believe that that is the way to, you know, touch education.